Well, print on demand is a very successful business model. People are making millions of dollars just doing print on demand. And in today's conversation, I want to explain to you how to start a print on demand business step by step. Here are the steps I want you to follow right now. Step number one, you need to understand print on demand because because the thing is a lot. Again, people actually throw out this phrase without having a clear idea what they're speaking about. So print on demand basically is a business model that allows you to sell, let's say, customers products, T-shirts, mugs and what have you to customers with your own design and logo. OK, and one special thing about print on demand business is that you don't have to stock to actually stock up your inventory beforehand. The, the, because of that, there is no need to really worry about buying in bulk or having a physical warehouse. This is kind of cool, right? And instead, what you do is that your print on demand supplier, Printify, Guten, Printful, they will actually handle all the production, printing, and shipping. And sometimes they even handle customer service. So you can turn your attention towards designing, marketing, and other aspects of your business. So if you really think about it, that leaves you free to do whatever you are good at okay so how does print on demand really work you are the secret behind the print on demand business model is that you know you are printing after ordering it's a very simple but powerful principle simply put when customers place an order the product is created only after that order has been made so this is kind of cool think about that so here is a simplified process you create a unique and eye-catching mock-up a customer purchases the product on your store then you print then your print on demand supplier will take care of everything from printing packaging to shipping and customer service and when the product is delivered to your customers you will receive payments without worrying about the pro the payment i mean not the payment the production and shipping process i want to share with you pretty, really quick the pros and cons of print on demand because every every uh, business model has its pros and cons so here are the pros it's very easy to set up you have a low investment you can adapt quickly to market trends. You can freely customize designs and products, and there is no physical inventory needed. Here are the cons. You have a little control over product quality. You have a lower profit margin, and it might be difficult to promote your brand through custom packaging or gifts. Step number two, you need to find a niche. By the way, welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having you here. So uh, the thing is, if you want to start a POD, a print on demand business, you need to find a niche. And the thing is that people talk about, again, those are words people actually uh, use, but they have no idea what it really means. So a niche is really a specialized segment of the market or a subcategory for a product. So the main purpose of it is to target a specific group of people who share the same interest about something. So by defining your niche before starting to sell, you can cater to specific customers who are more inclined to purchase your products. You need to understand, this is a global global market and it's very competitive. Print on demand is huge. So if you don't go after a specific niche, you're not going to qualify. You're not going to make money. Okay. And there is no limit to the niche you can choose. It could be a celebrity, a character from movies or books, an animal or an event. One another, on, on another note, you can define your print on demand business by selling printed jokes or motivational quotes. The thing is that you can also combine different categories together to expand your customer base. So it's really, really, really up to you. Okay, so it's really important to when you start, it's better to go after smaller niche, smaller niches that many, uh, not many sellers usually go to. Okay, because it's really this can, could it really uh, increase your sales because it's not competitive and you are you can actually uh, quickly gain market share. Like I said, remember, this is a very competitive global market. Even if you're based in the States, you are actually competing against people all over the world. So after uh, so the, the second step is select a niche. Third step, you want to decide on what to sell. So after selecting a specific niche, you need to actually uh, find out what you want to sell. There is a smorgasbord of products you can sell, and it's really up to you. Okay, you can actually go into clothing, t-shirt, dresses. You can do accessories, bags, clutches. You can have kitchenware, mugs, plates. You can do office office products, notebooks, planners. So the choice is limitless. It really depends on you. And it depends also on the niche that you have chosen because some niche responds very well to some uh, products while others don't. So it's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. 
step number four, you want to create your online store. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a little convo about how to start print on demand business, how to start a print on demand business step by step. Step number one, you need to understand print on demand. Step number two, find a niche. Number three, decide on what to sell. Number four, create your online store. See, the whole thing is you've done your research. You have uh, you are clear about the niche you want to go after. You have uh, done your design. You you have uh, at least have design mockups. But you gotta have uh, you gotta have a uh, a store, and when we talk about stores, there are I mean, you have again you have an array of choices. It really depends on your niche, the niche you're going after. Because see, when we talk about store, and I'll speak about that a little when we when we, see, when we speak about stores, you can either just create a store from scratch using Shopify or other players, or you can go to uh, a platform, a marketplace such as uh, Amazon, Etsy, and and what have you. Okay, so the thing is that. The if you're not sure where to start, I really want to uh, present to you very clearly the pros and cons of marketplaces versus platforms. Again, when I say marketplaces, I'm speaking about Etsy, Amazon, eBay. When I'm when I'm speaking about platforms, I'm speaking about Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Wix, Squarespace, Square. Okay, so the pros for e-commerce platform. You have complete control over your website. You can easily collect customer data and there is no on-site competition. Here are the cons for e-commerce platforms. It might be expensive. It requires more effort to build and maintain your online store. What about marketplaces? The pros. You can set things up real quick. You have less financial risk. And you have a low setup cost. What about the cons? You have little control over your online store, and you compete. I mean, you compete really among many competitors. Like if you were to sell a POD print-on-demand products on Amazon or eBay, you're not alone. You probably have gazillions of rivals. But you know, it is really, it is really uh, what uh, what really works for you. If you're comfortable with uh, with an e-commerce platform. Or you're comfortable going with uh, a marketplace. Step number five: You want to create designs. This is really important. See, the whole thing is that you know when we talk about print on demand, where everything goes back to your creativity. That's the bottom line. If you want to go back to the origins, so to speak, it is your creativity. How great your designs are! How wonderful! You know what's really uh, differentiating you from your uh, from your rivals, and the whole thing is the question. The uh, the other question is that do you need to be a, an excellent designer? You don't have to. You don't have to be an experienced designer to open and run a store. When it comes to print on demand, right? I mean, it would be great if you are already a creator, an artist, or a crafter, but it. If you don't have a, an, an artistic bone in your in your body, that's fine. You can actually uh, create simple quotes on Canva or hire professionals to come up with your product designs. Okay, and when we talk about professionals, you have a, a whole array of uh, platforms. You can hire professionals locally, like artists, designers locally. You can go on platforms such as TopTal, 99designers. You can have uh, Upwork, Fiverr. You can have, uh, you can, so you have a, you have a, a lot of, you have freelancer.com. Okay. And one thing I want to say before, you know, whether you do things yourself or you outsource the creation process, please, you want to always keep your target audience in mind, what they do, what they like and what they dislike. You want to draw inspiration from online marketplaces like Etsy, eBay, Amazon, or from social media platforms like Instagram and Pinterest. Okay, you gotta constantly, constantly look at uh, you know what the competition is doing. But I'm not saying you you need to plagiarize. Do not plagiarize. Okay, you want to be inspired by your rivals' work, but don't copy them. Okay, and so here are some tips and tricks on how to start a print-on-demand business real quick. Please never forget to order samples before mass production. You want to really have a clear idea of what you're selling to your. Uh, your potential customers. You want to decide on a suitable shipping strategy and you want to create a mock-up that can be clearly 
put on uh, on display so you can showcase your design you need to showcase your design and you need and like the whole thing is if your design your own design does not actually impress you then you haven't done anything yet you need to actually be impressed by your own design step number six you need to select a print on demand supplier okay this is really important when we talk about you know print on demand if you remember earlier i said that you actually don't do anything at all okay somebody handles uh the production the shipment and uh, in some cases the customer service for you so which means that you are basically when you think about print on demand this is another form of what drop shipping because basically you are actually coming up with it with the idea you are finding the customers but you are outsourcing the production the actual production and storage to a third party the only thing is that with print on print on demand as the word implies you're not you're actually printing on demand so there is no uh, need to uh, stock up inventory so choosing the right supplier to fulfill all orders is a crucial step to start your print on demand business and although this might sound simple and obvious it's also important because remember your reputation depends on it because customers don't care about what happens in the background they don't care about what happened how you actually structure your business model they, they just care about the fact that they're getting their goods on time good quality they're getting stellar service and so on and so forth okay so here are some of the most popular print on demand companies for your consideration so we have printify we have printful amazon merch Red Bubble, Guten. So, I mean, there's there's a long list of uh, print on demand uh, suppliers. We actually have covered this on other shows. So, if you are interested in learning more about the topic, please dr drop us a comment below or a question below. We'll certainly link you to uh, the right video so you have a clear idea of uh, of what kind of uh, what kinds of uh, players are available out there. Okay. Step number seven. You need to ensure that your, your you need to ensure your print on demand's products quality. So see the thing is that checking the quality of your products is an essential step. Unless your items serve their intended purpose, you'll have a hard time getting more sales than one. Customers need to feel confident before they buy. So by ensuring your products are up to par, you can gain the trust of potential buyers. Okay. As a result, to ensure your product's quality. It's important that you actually order samples first, so you have you you can taste things yourself. You can check things yourself. You can check the you can check the print quality, colors, or the style before having anything printed for mass distribution. Step number eight: You want to work on pricing strategy. See, this is important. See, you have actually done the whole, all the work. You have the design. You have a clear idea of the target audience you want to sell to. It's important that you set a price for your products. And I'm not talking about setting a crazily high price or a crazily low price. You need to set a price that actually captivates the audience's attention, but also uh, assures a good profit margin for you, right? Because you're not you're not doing print on demand as a charitable uh, venture. You're you're here to make money. Okay, and you need to understand that your price has a close, is actually a close relationship with the profit you make. Simply put, the more you charge your customers, the more revenue and profit you will gain. But sometimes setting a higher price might have negative effects on your store. Okay, so you want to conduct market research, try to find the average price of similar items in the market. You need to also think about whether or not your customers live near you. Can you cut costs by choosing a local print provider? Okay, should you offer free delivery? Free shipping can be a good sales promotion idea that nudges your customers into action when it comes to purchasing. Okay, but before you do that, make sure to calculate the, the delivery fee and balance your cost. Number nine, you want to upload products and publish your store. So now that everything has come into place, it's really it's time, it's time now to upload products and publish your store. Your, your, your store okay please do not forget to optimize your listing for a better ranking on google even if you choose to be on a platform or a marketplace you still need to place the google's algorithm because there that the algorithm is going to be among other uh, criteria among, among other tools the one to bring you the sales because you want to have you want to have organic sales right so if you are able to uh, rank better on google you can attract more potential customers boost traffic 
and uh, increase sales. That's what you need to do anyway. Let me talk to you now clearly about you, you should promote your store. I mean, you've done all the work. Again, I want to go back to the origins here. You know, you're working hard. You have, you have, a, you have your store. You have done your homework and, and whatnot. You know, if you have a store, but if, if nobody knows about you, sometimes you can say, you know what, I'm going to put this on autopilot and maybe, uh, you know, Google will actually help me discover, uh, Google would discover uh, my uh, my store by itself. Yes, this can happen, but sometimes it's just a lot better to give a push to your store. OK, so when when you're brand new, when you're when you're new, make sure that you're able to promote your store. You can promote your store on social media. So maintaining a, a social media presence is vital if you want to reach your target audience. So customers nowadays are continually looking for Facebook, Instagram and TikTok trends to see what really works, what really uh, appeals to them. So you want to make sure that they find you. OK, and uh, so don't try to cover every social media platform when you first start selling. The best tactic is to focus on one or two primary channels and, uh, you know, fully optimize those channels before expanding. OK, because when you start, you don't have resources, you don't have a lot of resources. So you want to start small. OK, and also don't forget search engine optimization. This is a vital factor you need to consider before starting a print on demand business. OK, because you want to rank higher on Google or Bing or Yahoo search for that matter. So. This actually is great because it makes your store more visible for visitors, increase traffic, and thus boost your sales. And that's what you want to, that's the position you want to be in ultimately anyway. Also think about blog and blog and uh, content marketing. So content marketing is a popular SEO strategy used by many big brands, right? So you want to try to post relevant content on your website and don't forget to share it on social media. So the cool thing is that blogs and articles are powerful in keeping your community updated and interested. So this will build up your expertise, show that you, you actually uh, have a clear idea what you're talking about, show what you have to offer, and gain the, uh, your community's trust as they learn from and engage with the content. Okay, And I want to share with you before closing to this conversation some of the best print-on-demand products to sell this year. Okay, So you can think about clothes, accessories, Hats, face mask, sleeping mask, tote bag, you have embroidery scarf, home and living. This is the greatest, a wonderful opportunity. This is a wonderful niche also. You have doormat, you have mugs, you have yoga mat, and you have cup holder. This is, again, this, the list, this list is not really... Uh, exhaustive but it sort of gives you a clear idea of what we're talking about and one thing i want to say before closing to this conversation is that this is not a one-time thing you know setting up a print on demand business it's an it's really an ongoing initiative you have to constantly innovate you have to constantly make sure that you come up with uh, new and creative designs because see the the market is saturated no matter what niche you have people are people are constantly coming up with new ideas new creations new design so you you also have to keep up you have to keep up and this is really really important thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it in today's conversation i just explained to you how to uh, start a print on demand business step by step so here are the steps there are 10 steps you need to do right now understand step number one understand print on demand number two find a niche number three decide on what to sell Number four, create your online store. Number five, create designs. Number six, select a print-on-demand supplier. Number seven, ensure your print-on-demand products quality. Number eight, work on pricing strategy. Number nine, upload products and uh, publish your store. And number 10, last but not the least, do not forget to promote, on, to promote your store on social media through SEO via blogs and content marketing. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.